It's Halloween. It's the 31st of October. It's, it's, it's a weird combination for me because not only ha uh, can I not believe it is November coming up tomorrow, but this has been the longest October I think I have ever had. It just feels like every day has been like a day and a half. You know, it just, I, it's just a weird, it's just one of those weird things. I can't believe we're in November. We're at the start of the holiday season, uh, Thanksgiving coming up and, and all of those wonderful other November, December holidays. You know, it's great that we finally hit November. I can't believe it's already November, but October, my God, stop with the, the, the days, you know? <laughs> there were a lot of them. There were a lot of days in October, 31. Um, so yeah, it felt like a very long October to me. Um, I don't know if anybody else felt the same either. I think it's just the whole ramping up of the political stuff that kind of slows everything down. Every commercial, that when we're watching a YouTube video, every commercial has at least one political ad in it. It feels like forever. You know, the minute it comes, it comes on, you know exactly, uh, you don't even need to hear the, the first sentence, you just see the commercial fade up and you're like already on your phone uh, trying to your damnedest to ignore it because it's like, I don't, I don't, we're done with our part. We don't need to hear it. We had the window open all night last night. It was like 60 degrees here and now it's gonna be like a high of 75. Cloud cover is very weird. It's a very weird looking day. It looks like, it looks, finally looks very fall, but um, unseasonably warm, 75 is a little warm. It's gonna start going down, but last night, overnight, it was 60 degrees, we had the window open, uh, and the wind just blew. It was, uh, it was nice. So I don't know what we've got left here. We got 10, 20, 20 grams of the Dusk Till Donuts. We have 40-ish grams of the Holy Cannoli, so, Next week, today, we're gonna do the Dusk Till Donuts, the raspberry donut flavored Bones Coffee deliciousness. Uh, a lot of that is bag, isn't it? Yeah, so we have 11 grams. Can we zero, thank you, 10 grams of bag? Yeah, there's 10 grams of, bla of blag there. Blag, blah, blah, it's October 31st, it's Halloween, it's a blag, blah. Yeah, you know, I, I said it. Yeah, there's 10 grams of bag there. All right, so 12 grams of coffee. That's a little uh, depressing. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll work with that. It's a really strong coffee, uh, and we're gonna do it in the Chemex. Uh, Chemex tends to mold and, and strengthen flavors. So we're going to take that we're going to do a rough chop on it well medium fine according to this i'm really i really get my mediums uh fines more up here in this area but we'll do it down here um, and see how that varies and gives us maybe a little bit more uh, going on with the pour over here Eleven grams takes no time. <laughs> that was in real time. That wasn't. There were no cuts there. So, oh God, that's utter sadness, is what that is. We'll work with it though. Hilarious. So, so I do have an adult horror story to tell you. Um, uh, no sex and violence. No, no dismemberment. No gore. None of that. Uh, by adult, I mean insurance. So. My husband's insurance plan, uh, it has an HRA or HSA or whatever they're calling that little card now that uh, covers medical and medical expenses and pharmacy expenses up to a certain point. So it covers uh, a certain amount up to like, like it, has a it has a credit limit, but it's not credit. It's used to cover those expenses. So it has a limit on it, a monetary limit. So we've, we met that monetary limit and this last month of Ozempic, um, Ozempic costing 
$1,100 without insurance, with our insurance. Oh, poo. With our insurance, Ha ha, I won in the end. With our insurance, it was around $350. So the card would cover that $350. Well, we met that, which means we met our deductible. So those type of pharmacy visits, they would break these prescriptions down to like what, $15, $25 and $45. And that's what you would have to pay for those prescriptions. Well, we met the deductible, but when we went to do the Ozempic thing, they said that it was still $300. And we're like, well, we need, I, he, he got a hold of the insurance company, ironed some stuff out. What am I gonna do here? Um, let's do, I don't know, let's do, let's try three, 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 300. Let's let it bake a little bit for a second. So we got to, the, to so we, we, uh, we went, tried to get the Ozempic, um, it was still three, 300 and something. We're like, uh, that's not right. So he called the insurance company. The insurance, insurance company confirmed that it should not have been that much. It should have been lower. So we went back yesterday um, to pick this thing up. And she tried to run the insurance again. The pharmacist did. Uh, shout out to the pharmacy, CVS, up here in Sunbury. Uh, great people. I've been going there f since we moved to this area. And um, they're, they're great people. Um, if there's a place that I would, wouldn't mind working, it'd probably be there. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, interesting. People seem, people seem to know what they're doing. It's very streamlined. And I know what they have to deal with every day. So it's like, you know, woof. But anyway, so yeah, we'll, we'll do about 300. I'll get another, I'll get another little bit in here. So she reran it and she says, it's coming back. It's, it's, it's still coming back at 300, but let me do this. She knew Matt's insurance. Matt was like, I have no, I, she, she named the insurance uh, part uh, for the card. And he's like, oh, okay, fine. And she's like, I, I know this, let's try it this way. So what she did was, instead of doing one month, she ran three months, which was three prescriptions, three, because she, uh, my, my, uh, my doctor had prescribed, had a continuous prescription going uh, for a little bit for this Ozempic, because that's just what you do. So she, she ran it for three months rather than just 90 days, rather than just 30 days. And that's when the discount applied. So the discount did not apply when it was just one prescription. When it was a 90 day supply, three prescriptions, that's when the reduction in price was applied. We didn't know that. It didn't say that anywhere in anything with print large enough for our old eyes to read properly. I guess you could say, uh, it was, it's still garbage. As far as I'm concerned, it's nowhere to be seen. She ran it the second time and uh, I've got 90 days now because it was uh, $25 for each month's prescription rather than $300 for just the month. So it didn't apply to just one single month. It applied to three, and she said, it applied to three months worth. And she said, that's how this insurance company kind of gets people. You hit your deductible, but you're only doing one month up to a certain point, you know, you're not doing three months. It was, it was weird to me personally, having multiple months worth of medication in my fridge or you know, on my sink, because you know, I, I'm not used to having medication. It's not a thing. And now I have a couple medications uh, that I have to uh, take. So, you know, because of that, it was, it, it was, it was a bit of a mind screw for me because it's like, I don't, I, I it's, it's so a lot of people, a lot of people actually just say, you know what, uh, since it's not going to go, I'll just get it anyway. And then they pay for it for themselves. And you know, that's, that's why insurance is not for you is not, is not a, a for consumer thing. Insurance is a money-making thing for the companies and the investors. You know, 
Um, so it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily there for you, pharmaceuticals and insurance. Um, now the pharmacy person, uh, she, who that, uh, the, the pharmacist saved us, saved us. I mean, even, even as, you know, our insurance rolls over into a new fiscal year, starting the 1st of November, which is another way that they kind of screw you over because if you get any kind of work done in October, any kind of doctor's visits, any kind of anything like that, and they don't really bill you until November, you can't use last year's stuff on that. They will basically force you to pay because the new card and the new insurance is for the new fiscal year. It's not for the year prior. And that's just how the insurance company is where Matt works. And it's, it just feels incredibly predatory. You know, of course, I think all insurance kind of feels that way. Um, car insurance has gotten worse and worse and worse. It's really weird. You know, regardless of how predatory it is, regardless of how much I'm complaining about it right now, it has saved us a great deal because basically of this mad rush of new prescriptions that I've had to take in order to not have high blood sugar, not have high cholesterol, not have high blood pressure. And all three of those things, because of those medications and my change in diet, and change in diet is, is, is as, as important, but I don't think a change in diet would have sufficed with a lot of the issues. So with those medications, it has helped me get better. And the insurance has made it so we just had to watch a number go down rather than paying into a number to keep it going. So, you know, as much as I complain about it, I understand, but still, even if it doesn't benefit us completely, you know, the whole Medi uh, Medicare for all and, and uh, lower costs on hospital visits, I, I prefer that for everybody, you know? I would really wish, and you know, we would benefit, of course, but, you know, the greater goods to me has always been more important than my little ass. You know, I, I can take me or leave me. That's just the way it is. I will say this does look a little bit weaker than I'm normally used to. It's actually a little bit more red. But I'm glad I did it through the Chemex because if I would have done it through the Clever, it would have not extracted as much. So it's probably a little over extracted for what was in there, but there was so little, um, uh, it, it's not bitter at all. It's also not tea, which is, which is, you know, good when you want coffee. It actually does have the coffee flavor, uh, with the, a nice tinge of raspberry and the raspberry is incredibly strong. If you find anything with like a raspberry flavor in it from bones coffee, it is going to be raspberry. The raspberry, uh, chocolate is a chocolate. There is a chocolate raspberry. That's like around the holidays. I think that tastes really good. Um, there's also a chocolate orange that they had. It tasted just like a Terry's chocolate orange. If you ever had one of those, it was really good, but it was very orange. So, and it didn't taste fake orange. You know, it actually tasted like a nice orange it, you, cause you get those fake orange tasting things. You get those fake raspberry tasting things and they're just like, you know, what? it's, it's fine, but ugh. this doesn't taste fake. Um, I mean, it doesn't taste like I've eaten a fresh raspberry, but you know, it doesn't taste like chemicals. And it is a little on the weaker side, but you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. So that's the end of my horror story. Hopefully it didn't scare you too much. Insurance is funky and uh, never feel like you're bothering the pharmacist to ask for help because uh, we told the lady that was bringing us out that uh, it needed to be rerun because uh, he had talked to the insurance company and then she asked the pharmacist lady to rerun it and she said, um, it's still coming up this way, but I know this insurance company, so let me try it a different way if that's all right. And we're like, sure, that's cool. And then she laughed and she said, yeah, look at this. This is hilarious. I love, this is, this is, this is my favorite part. Cause she's like, yeah, look, they apply the $25 per dose for uh, a, th a three month, a 90 day supply. 
It's not, it doesn't apply to the one month, it applies to the three month. And she knew that, which is wonderful, but we didn't know that even though it's our insurance. So, and if we would have looked probably at all the fine print at some point, uh, we probably would have known that too. But because she uh, does her job exceptionally well because she deals with the insurance companies on a regular basis. She knows those workarounds that will get you the help that you need. And the majority of pharmacists will probably do that for you if you just ask for help, you know, because they deal with people all day. And it's, you know, what's really interesting. I say deal with people, but I don't think I've ever gone in there and uh, you know, they, they've ever been, you know, they've ever, there's ever been a shouting match or there's ever been a problem um, on the inside there. As a matter of fact, when we walked in yesterday, the pharmacist was behind the, out from behind the desk, uh, down in the store uh, with her hand on a little old lady's shoulder, explaining to her the medication that she just picked up, asking her the questions that needed to be asked about you know, how she reacted to certain kind of medicines and then kept reassuring her that, you know, this, this medication uh, will do what it's supposed to do as long as, you know, you, you, you're not allergic to this, this or this. And, you know, just, just like a human being, you know, and I have never walked in there and there's uh, now granted um, maybe like twice a month I've been in there for more like 15, 20 minutes and then I've left. There's a whole scope of time <laughs> when I am not there. So I don't know in particular, but I will say that my visits there have always been pleasant and they have always been incredibly helpful. So don't be afraid to ask uh, your pharmacy person uh, for help. If you're like, I, uh, my understanding was it was this, now it's this, do you know why? And you know, if they've, if they've been there for a minute, they, they'll probably know why. So don't be afraid to do that. They want to do their job and without sounding like a jerk, they want you to uh, be in and out. They don't want you to be there all day. You know, they want you to be in and out because they have more customers to do. They have more claims to process. They have more medication to dispense. So, you know, in the nicest way possible, um, they want you in and out. So they'll help you as much as they can to achieve that goal. And that's any customer service worth their stuff. The goal is to make you happy and get you in and out, especially if you're not pushing back. You know, if you come in armed with knowledge and they, help to refine that knowledge. That's not them talking down to you. That's them trying to help you understand what, what, what it is that you are trying to use. You know, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. You can come in armed with knowledge, but it may be in a jumbled mess and they're trying to put the pieces together for you. They're, they see you have the puzzle pieces. They're just trying to help you get them in the right spot. It's not always a fight to the death or a battle of wits. It's just, you know what? You've got everything you need. We just need to put it in the right order. So it's just something to think about sometimes when you go into a situation where you have to work with somebody in a customer service situation. Odds are they do know more about their business than you do. It just reminds me of what Mr. Rogers said. You know, look for the helpers. Look for the people that want to help you. Look for the people that want to help others. Those are the people that you want moving forward to be around you, to be in front of you, and to be behind you. You know, the, the, the helpers are the, the people that want to help, the people that have the positive attitude, the people that, you know, not, not the people that uh, want you to go bowling with them because it's a company outing, but the, you know, but just, you know, just the, the helpers, look for the helpers. And, um, and your local pharmacist, the person that has taken the time and the effort and the money to go to school and become that pharmacist, uh, they are one of the helpers and they wanna help you. Look for them. Look for them in all you do. Thank you for watching this week. I really appreciate it. Next week, I'm gonna open up the Holy Cannoli. There should be enough in there for at least one decent cup of coffee. Uh, so what, 30, maybe 30, 30 grams left in here. So that should make for a wonderful cup of coffee and we'll do it in the Chemex. Doesn't fit now, but it'll fit later. It'll be great. And then we'll go on from there. We'll do some regular coffee maybe, we'll see. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Go sports ball, and we'll see you later. Bye.